Liverpool versus Inter, Champions League, knockout stages. Come on! Get in there, Harvey. Come on, son. Youngest ever player to start a European game for Liverpool. Come on. Joel's got to start. I love the way Hendo says his name. Joel Kreisay. Go on, Thiago. Whoa! That was a saucy little effort there. Robbo. Go on, Hendo! Oh! Sadio. Bong, bong, bing, bong, 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 bing, bong, bong. I apologise for him. Oh, Still going Fab. In. He's beaten Fab. He's played it in. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh he's in the bar. Oh, wow. We were let off there. It's Alan Oglu. Jeez. Dilgo's come off. Uh, Why? Bobby. How'd you do that for? Harvey, come on, son. He's he is old. Well, brother. Oh, my God. Is he in? Is that on? Checo's on. Checo scored. He's off. 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 Thank God. <sighs> I mean, to be honest, that would be what he de have deserved. Corner for Liverpool. Oh, yeah, Robbo's taking in our Trent. Deep runners here on the corner. Robbo plays in. Hello! Yes! It's Bobby! Yes! Come on! It's Bobby, it's Bobby. Yes, Bobby! Come on! Come on! Yes! <laughs> we needed that! Yes, now! Why'd he bring Jota off? That's why, you fraud! Yes, Bobby! Come on, son! What a header! Near post! That is a beautiful header from Bobby! <sighs> Get in here! Left foot ball. Deep for Louis Diaz. Virgil, how is it? Mo! Yes! Come on, Mo! Yes, Mo! Yes! There's a fourth wall breaking here, that's it, it takes a massive deflection, but I don't care. 2 0 Liverpool, come on! Come on, full time whistle! Yes! Whew. And breathe! Chelsea, good luck. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy your club walk up whilst you can, mate. Enjoy, enjoy your last bit of happiness. Yeah, I'm sure they're terrified. I'm not going to lie. Inter battered us in that first half. Perisic was magnificent for them. Brozovic controlled everything that they were doing from the midfield. And if Dzeko could actually run, if he had functioning legs, Inter would be one or two up. They exploited our weakness down our right-hand side, you know, the left for them. And Perisic just overloaded that channel. Trent just could not keep up with him and Perisic was causing all sorts of damage. You don't hear that a lot. You don't hear a team facing Liverpool and deciding, yeah, you know what, we'll press them. They're usually so worried about the counter that they don't bother. But Inter, to their credit, they had balls about them tonight their performance was to go out there and to try and get something from the game they were not going to sit back they were not going to let us run the show and they didn't they came to press us and then when we tried to press they actually passed around it they were brilliant tonight a great football inside that first half performance from Inter was probably the best 45 minutes of football I've seen played against us since Manchester City at Anfield this season the way that they pressed us they passed around our press and then that ball over the top to try and counteract our high line excellent game plan excellent strategy nearly paid off. Now to talk about the Liverpool side, Klopp usually gets bashed for his substitutions and rightfully so as well. He's usually either too late or he doesn't make the right sort of substitutions and people were looking very concerned, Corey included, when he took Diogo Jota off at half time. Tonight, Jurgen Klopp got his substitutions absolutely spot on. Diaz was phenomenal. His energy, his work rate, his dynamism, his pace. He didn't shy away from the ball. He said, give me that and he tried to make things happen. Hendo controlled the ball. Very comfortable on it. He always gave someone an option. He even dropped in in between the centre-backs for the opening 10 minutes when we were still under pressure. We retained the ball much more when he was there. He kept us calm, he kept us composed and we had more possession when Jordan Henderson entered the pitch. I thought that Ebo was very, very good. He put some solid interceptions in there, solid tackles in there. But Virgil van Dijk was exceptional tonight. Man of the match for me, Back to his very best. Read the game exceptionally well. Always back there. In the end, it comes down to a brilliant header from Bobby and a stroke of luck for Mo's goal. I think that we were quite lucky on the grand scheme of things tonight. If Inter Milan had the stamina to keep up the kind of performance that they had for 45 minutes for the full 90, we would have been in massive amounts of trouble. All credit goes to Inter Milan tonight. They gave us a phenomenal goal, a great game. They were excellent. And I think the 2-0 flatters us, to be honest. But again, that is the sign of a great side when you have what you think is a crap game for 
for the majority of it, but you still managed to get the win somehow. We've still got a clean sheet somehow. I really don't know how Liverpool Football Club have come away from that game with a 2-0 win. Clean sheet, away from home. And now, we go back to Anfield. Yeah, I don't know how the boys have done it, but they've done it. I'm buzzing. I'm happy. A little stressed. You know, we can breathe a sigh of relief now. We can all calm down. Have a cuppa and wait for all this to blow over. But yeah, well done, Liverpool. Have a great night. Thanks for watching my frozen face if you have. I'll see you down the road. Ta-ra.